Oh boy, No Man's Sky. Oh boy. Oh, Sean Murray, you done fucked up. You done fucked up. Right. Well, I've stopped playing No Man's Sky to nobody's surprise. Uh, when I started recording this game, I thought, man, this would be pretty cool for a let's play. But after 40 hours of time spent in this game, I realized that between those small moments, those small bursts of discovery, there's nothing. I mean, there's nothing but mining and more mining. I'm really glad I didn't pre-order this thing. I don't know what's with the pre-ordering these days. I mean, can't you people just wait? Stop pre-ordering him. Just wait. Wait, okay? Wait for some reviews. Wait for some user reviews. And, uh, you know, general feedback. Just, 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 just wait. How hard can that be? You know, I've been burned in the past by pre-ordering. The last game that I pre-ordered was Knights of the Old Republic. Me and uh, a friend of mine pre-ordered the game and we were some of the first people to get into the game ahead of everyone else. Early access, I think a week, six or seven days before the general public. I mean, we were really fucking excited. We were both and still are really huge Star Wars fans and we were just so fucking excited. But after about a month of gameplay, I at least realized that the game was a, a fucking copy of World of Warcraft. Right down to the dailies, quest structure, everything. And I was really, really, really disappointed and uh, I ended up quitting the game, pretty much. So that was the last time I ever pre-ordered the game. Yeah, I just, I just don't want to be disappointed anymore. So anyway, I didn't pre-order No Man's Sky, I didn't really get on the hype train. So my uh, disappointment is slightly, mo uh, slightly less than say someone who pre-ordered the game and uh, was really 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 hyped about it you know so yeah that's uh, that's one thing too repetitive man there's not enough there's not enough even though they tell you there's 18 quintillion planets blah 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 blah, blah and all that shit it's not really not really and even if there is i mean who the fuck has time to explore 18 quintillion planets really really hello games come on Come on, yeah, too much repetition. Also, another f reason I stopped playing is poor uh, space exploration. The space exploration side of the game is really underdeveloped. The star systems are not realistic at all. First of all, there's not enough planet variation. There are no gas giants whatsoever. There are no ringed planets like Saturn, for example. Not only gas giants have rings, by the way. There are no hot house planets like Venus. There are no giant terrestrial planets with uh, really high gravity. There are no uh, planetoids. There are no uh, desert planets. There are no water planets. There are no fucking, I don't know, frozen cloud planets. There are no uh, asteroid rings. And the all round general uh, sizes of the solar systems are cop uh, literally copy pasted. There are no fucking orbits. The planets just seem to hang there, leisurely hanging there in space. No, no, no orbit, they don't orbit around the sun. The distance between the planets are completely bullshit. You can literally see them with the naked eye, which is impossible. As soon as you exit the uh, planet's atmosphere, you're supposed to see nothing but black. Because that's what space is, it's black, it's empty between in between planets and in between solar systems they're nothing but nothing nothing but nothing blackness and you really need to get close to a planet to even start seeing a speck on the horizon not even that and in this game you can pretty much see the entire solar system with the naked eye like they were some fucking balls in the backyard. Just really stupid. So yeah, in my honest opinion, the perfect space exploration game is if they would uh, combine something like the exploration from uh, Elite Dangerous with the procedural generation for uh, the actual planets when you want to land on them. That would be, in my, uh, in my opinion, the best space exploration game so yeah that's another reason i'm uh, i'm not excited for the game anymore and let's not forget the fucking technical issues i mean i know I, my pc is not the best pc in the world but jesus fucking christ i mean you can tell a game is poorly optimized if it runs the same on minimum as it does on maximum settings that that's a clear indication that a game is poorly optimized. I mean, what can you expect with uh, with a team of 15, 15 devs 
PC uh, optimization in particular is really really difficult to nail down not so much difficult but it's it's a tedious task which requires lots and lots and lots and lots of testing for technical uh, technical difficulties doesn't make doesn't exactly make for entertaining let's play in my opinion so that's another reason I stopped playing and which makes me sad because I was I was excited I was I was not hyped I was excited perhaps a year from now after many many patches much more optimization and hopefully many 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 mods from the modding community this game will be actually actually be worth playing as it stands now it's just underdeveloped it's a glorified tech demo so yeah that's why I will not be playing anymore anyway guys thank you for listening uh, and let me know in the comments below what you think about No Man's Sky it doesn't quite hit the mark let me know in the comments below what you think of the game and the, its current state uh, remember to leave a like if you like and also if you really really like hit that subscribe button